And finally, and most humorously in this, uh, well, not, not collectively, but in this round of shit, after being told by certain testically, testically bound attorneys that what Riley did was a heckin' wholesome thing. When the, okay, let me let me be fair. It was not a heckin' wholesome thing. Riley was denounced as a fat retard loser. However, it was denied that what he was doing was illegal at all. The attorney general, or the district attorney rather, of wherever the fuck Ripa is, Eric July is in Texas, apparently felt differently because as it turns out, Riley, the producer of the Dick Show, is now a wanted man in the state of Texas because he is um, charged with felony stalking. It is a third degree felony, which is one of the higher felonies. It carries a possible jail sentence of two to ten years. Um, apparently the, but there's other possible punishments that come out for a third degree felony. It varies. The sentences for, for stalking very wildly because, um, it's like a case by case basis and literally enjoy prison stalker. Literally <clears throat> enjoy, enjoy prison stalker, child stalker, partner, <laughs> um, you may be wondering, how does simply visiting a storefront constitute felony stalking? It doesn't. The answer is, is that Riley um, made it clear to Eric July that he was going to fuck with him. Eric July probably ignored him consistently for weeks. Riley continued to try and get his attention, and then he escalated to showing up in person. And now the question is, if he's willing to show up in person to do petty shit like that, um, is he not going to continue to escalate this harassment until Eric July is forced to respond? And that is why it's a stalking charge. So his response to this, by the way, um, if I can hopefully find this in the next few posts, this. Ethan Ruff says, holy shit, they put a felony on Riley, and Riley replies saying, that can't stop me. So his public announcement to this information was that the law is unable to inhibit him and in how he is going to harass Eric July. So therefore, if you are the district attorney, you have no reason to give this guy any benefit of a doubt whatsoever. You basically just confess that you, you can try to uh, prevent me from harassing Eric July. I'm going to continue no matter what because he's a retard. And I will remind you that Eric July or um, Riley is a literally a partner of Dick Masterson. He was on Dick's payroll. I don't know if he got paid in cash or cocaine or what, but I have a feeling. And again, my balls are completely uh, unrestricted. I have never placed my balls into a vice. I have never thrust my balls into a woman's asshole or any other hole for all that matters. And so I may not have the experience required to make a sound judgment on this matter. However, I believe that if Riley, who is a literal associate of Dick, and I think in a business sense, um, were to cap, cop a charge for fucking with Eric July, that would seriously bolster a lawsuit with Dick if it was taken to civil court. Because then you could just say, this guy was friends with Dick. He had worked with Dick on the show that Dick was using to uh, facilitate this disruption of my business. Um, and I have full reason to believe that they acted in concert via conspiracy to do whatever, whatever he's going to sue for. Uh, the question remains in my mind, and I don't have a good answer for this, is if it's worth suing Dick because he's he's basically bankrolled. He makes enough money, assuming that his numbers are accurate and are not false, um, to afford a lawsuit for fun. And the attention may actually, like, I, he definitely made money with the Maddox lawsuit. 
Which is why it's all the more insulting that he didn't try to help Asterius Kokonos or any of the other people. And then, he's, then he was left wondering why nobody wants to associate with him anymore. And why all the biggest problem in the universe people who came over to the dick show laughed after the lawsuit. It's because he left them out to dry. Um, so it remains to be seen if suing him would be a good idea. It would only be a really good idea if it was actually causing some kind of damage that could be repaired with a lawsuit. Um, if it's just like, you know, a, a dignity thing or being technically right, if you're technically right to sue somebody, it's probably not a good idea to sue Dick because he's just going to make money off of it and it would bring more attention to him. However, if it was like actual damages are inflicted and are being incurred because of him, then it would be worth it. But regardless, Riley getting charged is definitely going to help, I think, in a civil case. Not that I would know. I don't know if there's like a thing. Uh, a, I'm, I just... <laughs> It has to. <laughs> it would have to help. It, uh, I imagine. Um, but yeah, that's the dick update. He he talks some shit. I'm not gonna reply to it because he really he really want, he even said after the um at some point in the episode there's like a clip where he's like, oh man, I was getting a beef with Noel, and then the war started, and and that's gone. It's like okay. I don't know why he he wants to have like a back and forth. I guess he knows that I'll never talk to him again, so he wants to have a back and forth between podcasts. That's not going to happen either. I know what I'm doing, boy. I know when someone wants my attention. I have to be careful. I have to be tactical. I have to make sure to only make fun of things that he's not proud of. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.